have my 357 Rattler out today. This is a 35 caliber pellet and 357 slug gun. This runs at 4,500 PSI and it comes with an adjustable power wheel. You can easily swap between slugs and pellets, but I'm gonna try and focus on pellets for this video. I live in Massachusetts. I had this shipped straight to my front door. There's no FFL required to order PCP air guns in the state of Massachusetts. From my understanding, 99.9% .9 of the United States, this is legal to do as well. The only state in question is Illinois that I've heard of. So if you live there, this isn't going to apply to you. This is relatively bone stock. The only upgrades I've done are the angled foregrip from Magpul, and then I have a Vortex Venom on it. Other than that, it's bone stock. This is an extreme example for an air gun. It's one of the higher end examples, but for this, it actually made sense for me to get this gun instead of planning on getting two. I wanted a 35 caliber pellet gun and a slug gun, but this does both. It also comes with a suppressor, so that saved me an extra suppressor that I didn't have to buy, an extra scope that I didn't have to buy, and it's all in one rig. So two guns in one for the price while still being pretty high, it made sense to me. If you got two $1,000 air guns, which isn't really too far out of the realm of possibilities here. Getting two scope setups, two suppressor setups, magazines where this one has an internal built-in 15 rounder. It just, it made sense to me. It might not make sense to everyone, but for me, it made sense. All right, enough talking about this thing. Let's put it to the test. I have a bunch of targets out today. We got the Texas Stars. We got pavers, bricks, cinder block. I got sodas. We're gonna do some accuracy tests and then I'm gonna bust out the ballistics gel. I can change the velocity on this pretty easy, but it's set up for pellets right now, and I'm just gonna do a test between pellets and slugs on the gel. We'll do a two by four and see where that goes. I'm not gonna be adjusting the velocity. The pellets will be moving faster. The slugs are gonna be moving probably a good bit slower, but we're gonna see the difference between the two. You can obviously crank this up, but I just wanna see what it's gonna be doing at the same power levels right now. First things first, both safeties are on. Once we have that in place, pop that lever up, this magazine cover slides up, and now we can feed them in. We're gonna start off with this FX 81 grain 35 caliber pellets. We're gonna feed three at a time, and then we rotate three. 15 pellets loaded, we are ready to go. Let's step back to about 30 yards and drop three Texas stars. I can't miss, 15 rounds, 15 targets, unless I get a freebie. Just as an FYI, I am a Texas Star God. Do bottom first. We'll do top to bottom. Big boy star. See? <laughs> All right, quick reload, more pellets are gonna go in and we gotta to top off with some air. This transfer tank comes in very handy. This Ed Gun Easy Fill Trigger is a must have as well. Just like that, air's ready to go. Let me refill this real quick and then we'll get going. Two by four time. We're gonna shoot it this way. Let's move on to the two by four. We're gonna use pellets first, then move to slugs. I'm gonna see if we can make it through this way and then lengthways. Let's try a pellet first. Slugs are next, 142 green, 178 green. After we try those, we're using these Alco slugs, 125 green. I'm gonna put the three of these into that wood and then we'll check on it. All right, let's go see what we did. Well, all four made it through. This third one was a good chunk taken out of the board. We're gonna turn this around the other way and then try again. All right, let's repeat the same thing. We're just gonna do it from the other side. 
See if we make it through this time. Pellet, slug, slug, slug. Hopefully I hit it dead on. Actually, you know what? Let me get really dead on straight with it. That's better. I think I skimmed one, the wood was turning as I was shooting it. Let me put one more 178 grain in. Let's go see what happened. The pellet didn't make it through. The 142 grainer did. The 125 grainer did. <laughs> Holy shit, that's still hot. The 178 grainer did not. That's what's left of it. <laughs> Let's slam some sodas and then we're gonna move on to bricks, pavers, and cinder block. Okay, we got four sodas, same deal. Pellet, 142 grain slug, 178 grain slug, then the Alco, 125 grain slug. Let's see if we can notice any difference between the four different shots. Pellet's up first. I expected more out of that Elko slug, but maybe I just hit in a weird spot. I'll have to watch the high speed later. All right, I gave myself three pellets. I think that's all I'm gonna need to obliterate that brick. It'll probably explode in the first shot, but three is what I think it might take max. Guess it helps have a round in the chamber. Only one to split it. Now we have two halves. Let's see if we can split those two. Probably not though. That table is so messed up. Thing nearly fell over. Six pellets left. See if we can destroy that paver. I'm thinking yes. I'm amazed that has not blown through it. Step it up to slugs. Okay, I think the first round of the slug is gonna break that in half. Wow. It's split in two, and then I just put the top half to bed. I didn't go and swap GoPros because the other one overheated and shut off, so if you're ever thinking of buying a GoPro, save your money. All right, back to the Rattler. I don't think pellets are gonna do much work here, so we upgraded to the 142 grain slugs. I know we can destroy that center block, but I'm gonna put 15 rounds into that solid concrete block and just see if we can destroy it. This one's up in the air. I don't think we're gonna do it though. I'm honestly impressed. I always have one left when I do that. Let's finish off that center block and turn it to rubble, then move on. All right, I think this should be enough to destroy it. 
eight rounds or so. All right, we got 15 pellets loaded in. I want to see if I can rock that pendulum. We're going to hit the smallest target and just see if we can get it swinging like crazy. My timing was off on the third shot. I think I stopped on that one or the fourth one. But we got some momentum going in that thing pretty good. Let's do the dueling tree too, and then we'll move on to ballistics gel and then that melon. Now for a reference point on this steel dueling tree, a 22 long rifle is not enough power to move it. If you hit the edges, you can kind of get them moving, but they don't usually rotate 100%. Before we move on, we have to revisit this because the slugs are a massive difference of energy transfer compared to those pellets. So let's retry it one more time. Big difference. I have 142 grain slug left. I want to see if we can split that melon. If not, we will repeat with the 178 green. Got a neat little holder there with the center block. Custom made. That was low. Disappointing. 178 green now because I ran out of the other ones. I'll aim a little higher. We have to inspect because that put a very clean hole through it in the front. And I need to see what the back looks like. See how clean that is? Pretty good expansion out the back. Two more, and we move on to the ballistics gel. Not too shabby, right? Good news. I found one more 142 grain slug, so we're doing pellet, 142 grain slug, 178 grain slug, and then the 125 grain slug. Let's see how this goes. I'm not sure what round it is. I'll have to look in the footage afterwards, but this is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. Aside from some spots where it got the rifling kind of scribed into it, I could probably fire that again. Not that I'm going to, but it looks pretty clean. It looks like all those made it clean through except for this one just hanging out, so. You do not want to get by that. That is going to be some trouble if you get hit with this 357 Rattler. Even with pellets, that's not going to be fun. I completely forgot to take the chronograph readings at the end. So here we go. 870 feet per second. Perfect. Exactly where I want those to be. 705 feet per second, 142 grain slug. 585 feet per second, 178 grain slug. 743 feet per second, 125 grain slug. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for the 357 Rattler. If you like this type of content and you wanna see more, just leave me a like, comment, just let me know and we'll keep going from there. If you don't, then we stop and we do something else. So if you really did like this content, please subscribe. And then if you wanna support the channel, I have memberships open. I grant early access to all levels, so starting at 99 cents to 2.99, you can get access. All right, see ya.